Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, we are going to stay seated to do a beginner walking, marching cardio workout. So what you will need is your nice, sturdy, comfortable chair, a little bit of space around you, and make sure you have your water close by. Once you get everything together, come back, we'll get started. Welcome back. We are ready to get started with our beginner walking, marching, cardio, all seated workout. Nice and tall. Remember, scooch yourself up towards the edge of that seat. Core pulled in tight. Nice and tall, straight spine. Relax your shoulders down. Let's go ahead and just start with our little marches. Nice and light to start. Feet coming off the ground just a little bit. Getting that movement going warming up the body feeling the heart rate rise nice and slow finding our breath deep inhales and exhales remember always going at your pace focus on keeping core tight good posture legs are going to march we're going to bring our arms up and around big deep inhale arms up and around and exhale one more time big deep inhale arms up and around and exhale, bringing the intensity up a little bit, knees coming up higher, pumping those arms a little bit harder, breathing, deep inhales, deep exhales, releasing it all out. Really focus on keeping the abdominals pulled in. If you start to feel any pain or pressure in your lower back, focus on core. If you do need to sit back in the chair, please feel free to do so to take any of that pressure that you're putting into your lower back off. All right. Otherwise, we stay nice and close to the edge of that seat. Helps us keep our good straight spine and posture. Arms are going to continue to swing in our march. We're going to tap our toes to the front. Alternate right and left. All right. That's our first move. Arms stay just like this. Tap toes to the front, right, left, right, left, right, left. <sighs> Exhaling and inhaling, just get a little bit of movement. <sighs> Four more, three, two, one more tap each side, come back to our regular march, nice and tall. Finding your posture and your breath in between each movement that we're doing today. Stay with our arms like this. We're gonna tap our toes out to the side. Body nice and tall, center of the chair. We're not twisting to the side, just those legs tapping. Again, right and left, right, left, right, left. Breathe, exhale, inhale, don't hold the breast. Getting a little bit of movement in the side body, hips, outer thighs, gluteals, obliques engaged a little bit more, sides of the waist. Exhale, inhale. Four, three, two, one more each side, come back up nice and tall, march it out. Now the next move, depending on the type of chair you're in, if you're able to scooch up far to the front, you'll have a little bit of space to do a little back tap. If you're towards the back of your seat, it's going to be a smaller range of motion or stick with your marching. We're trying to bring that foot past 90 degrees behind us. Little movement, stay nice and lifted. Right, left, tap back. Right, left, right, left. Small range of motion. Working on the back of our legs a little bit, those hamstrings get incorporated. Still working on our quadriceps, those thigh muscles. Exhale and inhale. Four more each side. Three, 
two. One more, right, left, come back up nice and tall, march it out. Keep those deep inhales and exhales. Trying to keep those knees coming up nice and high, pumping those arms, keeping that heart rate up. Working on our cardio and endurance. Legs are gonna stay marching. We're gonna do bicep curls. If you have availability for arms to go all the way down by your side, bring them there. If they need to stay at lap level, keep them there. We're curling up. Tap, release, tap, release. Exhale and inhale. Same movement if it's going right down to lap level. Curl up, release. Elbows stay glued into the side of the body. Get that range of motion, movement in our arms from the elbow joint. Biceps doing that work. Four, three, two, Last one, just keep the legs marching now. Deep inhales and exhales. Find that good posture. Are we pulling into the core? We staying nice and lifted? Shoulders relaxed and down. Next movement, you're gonna kick right foot out to me. You're gonna punch the left arm towards me. Then we switch. So it's a kick with the left leg and a punch with the right arm. So just opposite arm leg, alternating. Right leg, then left leg, left arm, then right arm. Sounds more confusing than it is. <laughs> we can do it, if anything, take a segment out. Just do upper body or just do lower body. So right leg, left arm, kick and punch, then alternate. All right, let's go now. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. So extending from the knee joint, bringing that foot out in front of you, extending the arm from the shoulder joint, don't lock out at the elbow joint, bring that hand right back to your shoulder. Core tight, protect that lower back, exhale, inhale. Four more each side, four. Three, two, one more each side. Come back to our march hold. Staying with our punches, but this time we're gonna punch across the body. So a slight rotation through the core, nice and tight. Get some movement in our lower back, strengthening that part of the core as well as we tap our feet out to the side. So it'll be a tap out to the right, Right arm's gonna punch across the body, and then we alternate. Left foot taps out, we punch with that left arm across the body. Core tight, right and left alternating. All right, let's go. Punch, punch. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Slight rotation through that core, keep it pulled in tight. Exhale, inhale. Same thing with that upper body. Remember, bringing that hand right back to shoulder. Don't lock out at the elbow joint. Four, three, two, one more each side, then back up to that march. Legs stay marching. We're gonna do side raises, both arms, remember? You can keep those arms bent, or if you have availability to bring those arms a little bit longer, slight bend in the elbow joints, arms coming out to our side, no higher than shoulder level. So up, release. Focus on the top of the shoulder, leading that arm out. Exhale, inhale. Right here works too, same thing. Leading from the shoulder, same range of motion. Exhale and inhale. Let's do four more. Four, three, two. Last one, march it back out. 
All right, on to our next movement. Heel dig to the front. We're gonna alternate our heel digs, but our upper body's going to both right and left work at the same time. We're gonna do a little push and pull with the upper body as we alternate heel digs, lower body. All right, we have our good posture form, core tight. Let's go, heel digs, push pull. Think press from the chest, pull from the upper back. Extending out again from the knee joint, but we're keeping the feet down on the ground instead of extending like we did when we kicked. Core tight, slight lean back in that chair, take pressure off your lower back. Continue to breathe, don't hold the breath. Exhale, inhale. Let's do four more now. Four, three, two, one more each side and come back to our regular march. Nice and tall again. All right, next movement. Alternate opening to our sides with our lower body to start. We're gonna go to both, but both arms are gonna work to start. Elbows are glued in. Focusing on our rotator cuffs, getting that range of motion. So both arms are working, but we're gonna alternate lower body. Remember, depending on the type of chair that you're in, will dictate your range of motion. Doesn't have to be big range of motion. Can be a slight open and close. That's perfect. Keeping that good form, both arms, right, left. <sighs> Exhaling and inhaling. Go at your pace. Keep your good posture form. Again, doesn't have to be a big range of motion. Opening to the side. <sighs> Always do what feels best for you and what you have available to you. Exhale, inhale. Four more, three, two, one more. Now march just for a second. We're gonna do that same movement with upper body, just to up it a little bit, because we're almost done. Both arms and legs, big core work here. Just for a few repetitions, let's see if we can do it now. Open, together, open, together. Exhale, inhale. A lot of lower abdominal work. Keep them pulled in. Let's just do four more. Four, three, two. Last one, march it back out center. Good job, nice and tall. Almost there, legs keep marching. Let's do another upper body movement if you have it available to you. Elbows come out nice and wide. Hands are right at chest level. We're gonna alternate extending one side out. Legs stay marching, they're not doing anything. Staying in that walking movement. We're gonna alternate arms out. So shoulders are gonna feel the work because they're holding the arms up. But the back of the arms, those triceps, extending the elbow out to the side. Exhale, inhale. Nice and tall, abdominals tight. Relax those shoulders down, I know you feel them. Breathe into them. Four, three, two. One more extending each side, come back to our regular march. Big deep inhales, exhales. Slowly bringing it down. So feet aren't coming up as high. Arms aren't pumping as much, but still keep our good posture form. A lot of times when we start to cool down, we wanna lose our core. Keep it pulled in tight. Keep length in your spine. Just bringing intensity down as we bring our heart rate down, nice and slow. Regulate your breathing. Let's do for five, four, three, two, and release. Stay nice and tall, lifted in your chair. Just twist and open to that right side. 
Nice deep spinal twist. Take all the pressure off that lower back. Let's go through center to the left, twist and open. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Come to center, either interlace hands behind your back. If you can, grab onto the side of the chair, release the body forward. If it's available to you, walk those hands up the back of your chair. Deepen that stretch through your shoulders and chest as you squeeze your shoulder blades on your upper back. And then we'll walk our hands back down, place them onto your lap, hollow out the belly, arch and stretch the spine and open up those shoulder blades on your upper back. We'll sit up nice and tall, lengthen out through that right leg, slight bend in the knee joint, hinging from the hips. We release into that nice deep stretch from your calf, hamstring, gluteals, and lower back. Let's roll it up as we sit nice and tall. Right foot comes up, circling from the ankle joint. So knee joint stays still, leg stays still. And reverse, other way around. And release right foot down, same thing left side. Extending the leg, slight bend in the knee joint, hinging from your hip so you're not bending at the waist. Hinge from the hip, keep a nice straight spine, flat back, deep in that stretch. Again, from your calf, hamstring gluteals into your lower back. Especially if we are wheelchair bound or we do sit a lot, this is a nice stretch to do throughout the day. Let's roll it up nice and slow, sitting nice and tall, lifting that left foot up from the ankle joint, getting that stretch and mobility in the ankle joint. Reverse, go the other way around. And release the left foot down nice and tall, arms down by your side or they can stay on your lap. Shoulder shrug up, release down, shrug up, release one more. Now circle those shoulders around to the front. Let's do two more. One more, reverse that direction. Circles go to the back. Inhale, exhale. One more time, release your shoulder blades down your spine. Keep them there. Let your right ear release towards your right shoulder. And then head up and over to the other side. Left ear releases towards your left shoulder. Head comes up center, looking over your right shoulder. Body stays nice and tall, so we're not twisting to the side. We're working on stretches and mobility in the neck. And other side, just the head turns, trying to look over that left shoulder. Head back to center, let your chin release down towards your chest, not leaning forward. Now bring your gaze up towards the sky, gently releasing the head back. No added pressure, let gravity assist. Head comes back to center, three deep inhales, exhales. Inhale those arms up and around, exhale, release down. Two more times, big deep inhale, and exhale. One more time, big deep inhale, arms up and around. Exhale, release it all out because you just completed your seated beginner level marching cardio workout. I am so proud of you. I look forward to our next workout together.